Um, now for problem B, uh, it's an interactive problem, and we have only for fourteen queries. Uh, the problem is, is saying uh, there was a permutation, um, a permutation like like this permutation, for example. Okay, and someone will choose L and R, like will choose a specific range, like this range or this range or anything like that. Okay, and then he will add one to all of them. For example, for these ones, if he chooses the range uh, which contains three, one, five, five, it will look like that. Two, four, two, six, and four. Because these ones are the LMR he chose. Uh, our queries is we will be asking L and R. So we will be asking uh, L for L and R. So, and we have now two arrays. The permutation itself, which is, for example, if this is the example, Two, three, one, five, and four. This is the permutation. A is the array after he chose the range and increased. So here it will be two, and this one is the range. This is in the range. This is in the range. This is not. So this is B, and this is A. Okay? So what we will be asking him, we will be asking, from L to R, what is the summation in the permutation? Another query is, from L to R, what is the summation in the array, A, okay? So, uh, and he will be answering us what is the summation in this range, like what is the summation in the range in the permutation from L to R, uh, what is the summation in the array A from L to R, and that's it. And we have, we can only make at most 14, uh, 40 queries, uh, doesn't include the, um, the output, okay? So for this problem, normally, um, when I see 14, 20, 13, these things, um, I'm thinking in, in binary search, okay? So we will be thinking about binary search. What else? Don't forget that you are, like, in the binary search, you would be doing two queries, right? So maybe it's two times the binary search. So yeah, it's somehow um, will be a bit tight. Like, this is what I thought in the beginning. So I also thought for this problem, like, about ternary search, I said it would be, like, uh, full, false, 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 like the range that hasn't been increased, and then true, 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 then falses. So I said it would look like that, so I was thinking about Turner search. But I think my solution didn't work, because maybe it was like um, asking more than the 14 queries. So anyway, Turner search uh, didn't work, at least for my school solution. But there's a very easy pioneer search solution for this problem, which is what? Um, can, we can make in the binary search, can we find one of its ends like R or L or anything like that? It's very simple. Why? I can say, if I talk, uh, I, I'll start, like, um, my L will always be one, okay? But my R is the thing that I'll be playing with. I make binary search. Let it be here, let it be here, let it be here, let it be any place like that. And if their summation A was higher, I'll keep going to the um, yeah, binary search, like just binary search um, to reach to the highest thing. Okay, you may ask me, okay, but what is the highest thing that it may reach? You can make in the start, just make one here and in here, and just say what's the summation in A minus what is the summation from one to N uh, in B. For example, here the summation is um, two, four, six, eight, 14, 18. So it would be just 18 minus uh, 2 plus 3, 5, 10, 11, 15. And it will give you 3, which is the uh, number of elements you have increased, like R minus L plus 1, right? So um, we now, from this query, like which is make a query uh, 2, uh, 1, N, and the answer of this query, say minus another query, one, one, and it will give you the number of elements in the range that it has increased, which is similar to something like that, okay? So after this, and after the binary search, we will be finding, uh, we, will, like, we will be binary searching on, on hey, um, from one to, uh, for example, four, uh, or no, no, not four, for, from one to three, uh, is the summation, or like is the two, let's say uh, two, one, and we can say, let's say mid, because this is binary search. Okay, uh, let's, uh, Q is the function of query, okay? So query minus another query of type one, one and mid, okay? 
So we will be doing that until it's equal to uh, R, minus, uh, R uh, minus L plus one, okay? Which is the value we got from this one. And once we do that, we will be finding the R, which is this one, because this one will not increase it. So it will be going to the left until we reach to it. So from using this, we can find R. Okay, we found R. What will we be doing at this time? Very easy. Why? We know the number of elements. So for example, if the number of elements are just three, so uh, L is just what is L is just R minus the count we have found. Let's call it C, for example, minus C and plus one which will give us this value, okay? So uh, L is equal to R minus C plus one. Let's see the code. So for my code, uh, first thing I made the, like, the normal increase or like the count, this is just the count in the, in the uh, explanation. So, um, and I made a query function here, given left and right. Uh, result for the P permutation, for the permutation result for A, just that changing is one and two. And I'm checking if result A is equal to result B plus normal. So in this case, I'm just holding my mid, this is good, but I'm trying to go to the left. Else I'm just going to uh, to the right until I, re I find it. And then sure left, and yeah, that's it. I think the rest is easy. Um, so that's it for problem D.